What's up everybody, and uh, this is going to be a joint review right here. I'm not about to do two separate videos for this, but this is the um, Rampage. Honestly, I call this a two-hour Rampage, but um, this was like a Rampage and Battle of the Belts review, okay? So this is just going to be in the one video. I'm not about to do two videos for this, and honestly, it wasn't a lot from both of these shows that I can say that was really good. If might I add, this was actually live this time too. I kind of came back later on to watch this. I went to watch Pound for Glory, which honestly was a better show anyways. Uh. Then, um, you know, I guess two-hour Rampage again or Rampage, a battle of the belts. But I don't know. But we kick it off with um, John Moxley, uh, Claudio Castanoli, where you the Blackpool Combat Club. I know they said Mox signed a new contract extension and whatnot. So... Uh, good good on them, okay? They do need him. Uh, like I said, he is a big part of that company. Uh, they went against Russian Private Party. Um, they also had JR, Chris Jericho, Regal, Excalibur on commentary then. Um, like I said, this was a six-man tag. Uh, it's not much I could say from this and whatnot. Looks the crowd at least looks a little bit bigger than they were on Wednesday. But, um, you know, Mox and them end up winning the match. Like I said, the, the tag match was okay. Yuta end up uh, getting a submission and whatnot, making um, Isaiah Cassidy tap out, so uh, Blackpool went over there, I don't know why they still have Regal, like, just keep flirting with um, Excalibur for some reason, call him a giant cookie marshmallow, or whatever he said on there, um, the Varsity Blondes, what it gets Josh Woods and Tony Nese, which, you know, I could see why people probably turn the channel from here, because it's like, why am I seeing these guys, Mark Sterling, man, the guy gets a lot of TV time, okay, he gets a lot of TV time, and, like, they beat the Varsity Blondes in a squash match, but thinking, when the last time you've seen these guys on TV? Like, literally, what are they really doing right now, Pillman Jr. and Garrison? And then, you know, Sterling's like, you know, um, we trademarked the name Varsity and whatnot, so now, apparently, they lost their name, and now it's the Varsity Athletes, so the Varsity Blondes can't have that name from them, so they lose, and they get their team name taken from them. Okay, and... You know, if the blonde, the words blondes ever using that term again, they will be sued. Um, next, you know, the acclaim came out rapping, talking about the ratings and that Draymond Green video that's out. Go check that out. Um, but at least they did wake up the crowd right here. But still, why am I watching a varsity blondes and, you know, without the varsity athletes thing? Like, what am I really seeing from this? I Maybe something happens with Tony Nese and Josh Woods, but I'm like, Mark Sterling, they have this guy everywhere representing everyone so i don't know um next uh tay what, what do they call themselves no conti and um anna j tay mellow as or something like that and they went against madison rain and sky green i mean sky yellow sky red sky, sky orange sky sky blue i'm not gonna say much bad about sky blue given that she's from over here but why is she out there at the same time? Like, still pretty green in my opinion. But, honestly, I don't think people cared much for this match. Um, Conti and them won. Uh, Anna J put in her Queen Slayer uh, move and won the match. So, there you go. Um, next, Death Triangle went against the Dark Order. They kept playing up that this was the anniversary of Brody Lee's... Um, I, I think, like, his final match in AEW at that point, or the anniversary of his death. At, no, I think that was his final match at that point, but, um, listen, I'm surprised they even gave this, like, 30 minutes, okay? I didn't, like, they literally had, like, the whole half hour for this match. And then again, the finish ended up with, you know, Pac using a hammer again onto Alex Reynolds, and, uh, Pac hit his, um, cross face and won the match, which Pac literally had to wrestle right after this, so... He's been out there in a 30-minute match, all right? So he's got to now defend that All-Atlantic belt. Did I really think this Dark Order was going to win? Not really, okay? And they did play up Brody Lee's death. And maybe you thought they would have won, but I'm saying they're not going to win, are they? And then again, it's like, it's like, dude, what is left of the Dark Order at this point? Like, literally, like, why is this even still going on? Like, man, how many of these people are actually left? Because I know they even had Jose t at the mask. I know they were going to do the whole Andrade thing. But, you know, Andrade is gone right now. We already know about that whole incident. So, wh where is this going? 
Like, where where is this going? Because, like, come on, we all know who was going to win here. And then you got Pac wrestle Trent right after then, which I don't know if they're just playing up that, okay, Pac can go out there for damn near 40 minutes to wrestle, I guess. But basically end up being the same finish. He used the hammer again, okay? Because if this was even a clean match out there, some would say it makes Trent look weak. Because, like, you couldn't beat a guy that just wrestled a 30-minute match out there already. Probably would have easy pickings on them then. But then again, why did we have to do this match right after? Because they literally just like went to the next show right after, okay? Pac won. He hit the hammer. Um, he didn't do the brutalizer, but yeah, he pinned him and got the win. And then Orange Cassidy attacked him, and then I didn't really care. And um, Pac just, you know, retained his titles and whatnot. Um, so he got, he still walked away with both the belts. Um, Right after that, Jay Cargo went against um, Willow Nightingale for the TBS title. Have they signed Willow? Because Willow's really good. Willow's good. Real good. Um, and this, at least it wasn't a squash match out here. She did get some time. Uh, Jade still ended up getting the window with the um, the Jaded and whatnot. But I did enjoy this match, though. It was okay. But they do need to sign Willow. She's really good. Next, they have Vicky Guerrero come out and say, Excuse me. I guess Nyla Rose is from this uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, well, you only got to see Nyla Rose for like 10 seconds. Steal the title and run away. And we didn't even see Straw Hat Marina Shapir out there, the promo master. You don't know me! You don't know me! You don't know nothing about me! You know nothing! I That promo is hilarious. What is with the Straw Hat? Like, are you like Huck Finn now or like Monkey D. Loopy? Which one is it? Like, wh where is that going? And it, 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 like, the Ring of Honor tag titles on the line in the main event. FTR versus the Gates of Agony. Like, I I did not really care. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I, 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 it's like, Ring of Honor, I feel like I'm watching two different shows. It's damn near like ECW 06, when it was a third brand. Or it's like WCW on WWF television. And what now, when they tried to do that at the time. So, like, I look at all these Ring of Honor matches, it's like, FTR's gonna win, okay? Like, we, we know that, so it's not much I can say about that. But they are really pushing Ring of Honor, trying to get people to care, especially without a television deal right now for Ring of Honor. Because, like, it's kind of funny, though, you got the Ring of Honor title, which, obviously, we, we know it's on Jericho, reasons why we do. Um, Garcia's the pure champion. FTR is the tag champions. You don't even see the women's champion. What the hell ever happened to Mercedes Martinez? She just disappeared. Um, so, it's like, it's just guys having belts to have belts. Oh, I'm sorry, Samoa Joe, the television champion. I almost forgot about the Ring of Honor TV title. So, it's just people just having belts to be having belts, okay? Because um, Ring of Honor hasn't really had a pay-per-view since um, the death before the Sonor one back in July. But, um... ROH, I, I don't I don't know what to say. FTR won, and then everybody brawl. Brian Cage came out there. Wardlow came out there. Samoa Joe, even the odds on the embassy, and the embassy backed off, and FTR. And um, like I said, this felt like a Ring of Honor segment right here. This literally was a Ring of Honor segment with, like, three Ring of Honor champions out there. Okay, and even FTR. Hey, they still get big pops for guys we barely even see wrestle right now. They got all these tag title belts, but we barely see them. So, I think I said that the other night. So, like I said, this was a joint review. It's not much to say from this. Like, like what is it? Like, the third, fourth Battle of the Belt show, by the way. And now the title has changed at this point. So, um, I don't know. This was actually live this time, though. So, I I don't have much to say about the no way it was a title change on one of these battle belts. I think Sammy won a damn TNT belt back. So um let me correct myself on that. But it's like, come on, was was anybody losing any belts on this show? Not really. So I don't know. Like I said, this felt like it was another two hour rampage. That's all it really felt like this was. It was a two hour live rampage. Okay. So, I, I don't know, man. AEW is just going whatever crazy shit they're going with right now. Backstage fights, uh, you know, you know, backstage assault, well, wherever it's going. Everybody wants to fight in the back right now. Chaos is everywhere at AEW, folks. Chaos is there. So much there that you care about more about that than the actual television show sometime. So, other than that, I'm out of here. Comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Hoodernight890. Peace out.